Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to explain one real time problem which I have faced in my project. So how selection and bookmark features help me to change the button text like the button display text and execute the navigation. Okay, so let's start with the problem. First, we need some sample data. So uh, I just created a new page and let me get the sample data set for this. Just uh, load this sample data here. Okay, now I'm going to select this financials one and load. Okay, your data has been loaded. So to execute this problem, I need two slicers, two reports and two buttons but only one page let me show you how you can do that first i'll create two slicers okay for that just click on this slicer one the hierarchy one here and i'm removing the other fields only i'm keeping this year value let me create another slicer maybe i can select product now two slicers are there first i'm going to create one report where we can display the sales value by year and month okay let me select the line chart here okay now select the sales value and the date hierarchy i'm removing this quarter value and date value and keeping the data in this way. Now in the same area, I want to display another report. Okay, what I'll do, just select this one, copy this visual and control V. Just make sure your report layout, the height and width should be same for both the reports. Now I'll change this report instead of sales value, I'm just putting the profit value here. Here is another trick. First, I will insert one button here, the blank button. And in this button, let me give one name. Show sales report. Don't worry, I'll explain you how this report will work. But before that, just follow the steps. Okay. Now, I will create another button. So what I'll do, just control C and control V. And in the same area, I'm putting this button. I'm just going to change the text for this button. Now we have all the information. Let me go to this view section, selection and the bookmark first. Okay. Now the slicer will be always there in my page layout. Okay. But this is the first report, the profit. And here I have two button. So by default, when my report will display as a profit report, I should get a button here, show sales report. If I click on that sales report, then it will display the sales report. And in this button, it will display show profit report. That means the vice versa. So here it is show profit report. I'll just select this button and change this button name first. Okay. Otherwise, you will be confused whenever you are doing all this selection property. Okay. So this is the profit. Okay. And the other button should be sales. Just double click and sales. Now these two buttons are ready. So what I need to do when my profit report will be there, I need to display show sales report. That means 
the other button should be hidden. I am going to hide this button. Okay. Now behind this profit report, there is one sales report. I should hide that too. Okay. Now you have to save this page in your bookmark. Click on that and just change the bookmark name. Okay. Bookmark for profit. Okay. Now I have to change again for the other one. Okay. How will I do that? For that, just select this area and hide this one. Unhide this one. Just select this one and unhide hide okay now again add this and change the bookmark here okay so now you have two bookmark make sure you have uncheck this data for this one also now this button should be linked with this corresponding bookmark okay now you just select this one and this should be navigate to the sales page go to action area select the bookmark and sales report okay and just go to this sales page where this profit button I should navigate to the other one okay the bookmark profit now every navigation is ready you may want to test it how it is working okay for example you just log into the system and by default you are getting this year product slicer value and you have this monthly sales report so maybe you want to check the profit report also just click on this and your profit reports are displayed also you want to go back to the sales report just click on this your sales report is also displayed let me check whether all the filter conditions are working or not just select the year and maybe one of the product and this is your sales report you want to check the profit report so that is also visible so in this way in a single page you can do this toggle button option like user can see that there will be only one button and the same area your report is refreshing okay but behind the scene we have this selection feature and this bookmark feature and we have two buttons and two reports so maybe in your project you can do this similar type of user representation and don't worry i will upload this code in my github folder please check the description section and if you like this video please share with your friends and colleagues thank you thanks for watching